All right, good Sunday morning to you. The whole goal of this video is to show you an update to my last video about interconnecting these EG4 Life Power 4 batteries into the BMS software that I downloaded from Signature Solar. And last night I ran into a problem where when I hooked everything up for the first time, everything worked great. And then all of a sudden it just didn't work. I had a com.dll error in address just kind of went haywire, just kind of went <laughs> and I was like, what the heck is going on? It shouldn't do that. So I just uh, shut everything down, went to bed, had a good night's sleep, woke up with a fresh mind and hot cup of coffee and decided I would reattack. I always have a little bit fresher mind when I'm in the morning. This is a Windows 11 machine. This is my older Windows 10 machine. Um, <laughs> this, this is going to get technical. Um, they both work now. Long story short, um, before I tell you how I got it to work, um, it works on 11 and Windows 10. With the older Windows 10 machine, I'd had to update the driver's um, port setting deal. Icom didn't show up in the device manager, and Windows detected it when I plugged in the yellow cable. And it said, hey, you need this, blah, blah, blah. So I downloaded the driver automatically Windows thing, popped up the port, found the freaking yellow cable, downloaded the software from Signature Solar, and bamo kabamo came up freaking perfectly i was like is this a windows 10 thing or not and what i did let me show you on this machine what i did um then i ran into a problem you know what you know what the problem was okay so this is the file folder from signature solar right this is the one you want to use to get it to turn on and what i did is i wanted to create this is really freaking stupid. Let me move this down here a little bit. I created a desktop icon. Listen, listen carefully. I pulled it up here like this. And then I opened it from here. That causes all kinds of freaking problems when you try to create a desktop icon. So if someone's watching that knows this, how to develop this software or whatever, this is the problem right here does not work if you execute, you know, double click to open up this. You got to put it back into the folder down here, right? Open this from the actual file folder right here. Then it works fine. Let me show you over here because I have this one disconnected. The, the yellow cable goes over to this Windows 11 machine over here and check this out working just fine all right see how I got it set up here so, so let me cancel out of this are you sure you want to close the program yes I want to close the program all right now let's go directly into here and you go yes to start it up and it detected the, the com port which is good and it even scrolls right down here port open successfully good then you go over to battery info over here and you want to clear the sequence you want to start I'm starting on battery zero right here I don't know if you can see that. I'm sorry about the light. That's my main battery. And I got six batteries. So I want to go down to all six. Add address to the sequence. Takes a second. And then bammo. And it starts doing its thing. Good. Now watch this. Let's get out of this. Close the program. Let's create a desktop icon right here, okay? Close this out. I got it in the folder right over here. Open this up, just like I did before, but it's from the desktop icon. Rut row raggy, port refresh, 
nothing's happening battery info there's your there's your problem comes up with this and you try to clear sequence this is this is what's really really wonky try to close this out you can't even close it out because you get this error so in order to close this out see here I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to X out of this thing it, it, it's, it's like it's it, it's froze up so what you have to do to get rid of this screen you have to go into task manager down here task manager right click on task manager and go into BMS test here right click and task bam so it gets rid of the thing in there now in order to get it to work you got to put open up your your folder here get rid of your desktop icon throw it down here right open it up in the file folder here which has that com dll file which we was looking for open it up here boom look at there port opens up successfully i'm on port six like it's supposed to be go into here clear sequence start address zero i got six batteries add address to sequence and guess what it works it's scrolling through all the batteries can you believe that i mean what's up with that a little hiccup brain fart in design there and, and guess what it closes out without having to go through task manager so you got to open up this bms test from the folder itself because it has that stupid freaking com dll file associated in there somehow i don't know i am not way above my pay grade on why it's doing that but there you have it hopefully this helps you out i know this is a long video but i know a lot of people are having issues and this is still an issue in my opinion because i don't think they have all the bugs worked out of this interfacing bms software with these you know great batteries so there you have it hopefully this uh sheds some light on your issues if you're having any um and you know before you make a phone call. All right, later.